What's up guys, welcome to today's vlog. Today what we're gonna talk about is a haircut that I'm super excited about. It's a pixie cut, it's disconnected. We kind of shaved one side. We did go back to the mannequin head, so I apologize for you human lovers out there. But I know you guys are gonna love this cut, and I know you can take a lot from it even though it is a mannequin head. We went through, we created asymmetry throughout the entire haircut. What I love about it is we did scissor over comb in the back, so I think you guys will take a lot from that technique. We also brought it all the way into the side and we shaved a little bit underneath, but left a disconnection that actually will go all the way up into the recession point. So you're gonna see this a big disconnection. The cool thing about it is you can flip it over and create a really cool style with it. You can see how the disconnection flows over into the asymmetry. Um, it's just a really cool haircut. A lot of people are gonna like. The one thing I wanna talk about before uh, we get into the step-by-step -step is we have a new scissor from Mizutani out. This is the Mizutani pen slim scissor. I've been using it for three months but I haven't been able to talk about it because it wasn't available yet. This is a nano powder metal scissor. It's super skinny. Look how thin that blade is. If you look at it compared to the uh, blacksmith fit blade, see if I can show you guys. Look how skinny that thing is. What that means for you, razor sharp. It's great in your hand. It's super lightweight because it doesn't have as much metal to it, but it's also nice and powerful, which I love. I like the 5.5 inch scissors. So if you're looking for a new precision scissor, check it out. We have a great deal on this scissor on freesaloneducation.com. Wait till the end. I'll tell you what that deal is. Let's get started with our step-by-step. -step. Here we go. All right guys, so I'm excited to take you through this haircut. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by parting the hair on the natural part. Then we're gonna take that natural part from mid crown down to behind the ear. Um, if your guest parts on the opposite side, just do the complete opposite. Now the parietal ridge is where we're gonna follow on the opposite side, the right hand side of the head. I want to follow the parietal ridge, but I'm going to go high parietal because I'm going to layer the top of the hair and I'm going to razor the underneath and I want more density on the underneath uh, for when I go through and do that razor cut and create that um, asymmetrical kind of disconnected side. So we'll clip that away. I'm going to go through with my ergo paddle brush and I'm going to flat wrap the back. I'm going to go in doing scissor over comb. This is a technique that I love to use to create, um, you know, a really nice even layered look in the back. We're going to go nice and short um, to almost disconnect the back of the pixie cut. If you wanted to leave the back a little bit longer in your version of the haircut, you could definitely do that as well. So I'm going to go through to start the scissor over comb. I'm using my blacksmith fit six and a half inch scissor. I like using a longer scissor for scissor over comb. It's just more comfortable for me and it helps me reach uh, over the comb in a longer fashion so that I can cut more hair at a time. So I start going through there. I'm using my 209 comb from YS Park. It's got nice wide teeth and I just work that comb nice and tight to the head. And then as I work my way up the crown, I start to slightly pull back, which will give me a little more weight in the low crown area. And I can determine, do I wanna leave that weight or do I wanna take it off later? Um, I can figure that out as I go. So just kind of feeling out, this is a mannequin, but obviously if I was working on a guest, I would start a little bit longer, work my way in, see how her hair is reacting to the length. Uh, that we're cutting. It's kind of why we go in and do that flat wrap because it puts the hair in a natural fall position and it really sets you up for success when you're doing scissor over comb. I think a lot of people um, when they go in and do scissor over comb in this situation would probably go in wet and start cutting but the hair just clumps together. You don't get that nice uh, even flow to it. So if you want to have a really nice scissor over comb, go through, blow dry your section, and then start cutting. You can also notice that I have that steady blade working right alongside the bone of the comb. I put it at the bone of the comb because as you're going through working scissor over comb, the bone of the comb is where the hair starts to have the most tension. So you're going to get the cleanest cut at that point. Now we're going to go in with our pen slim scissor. This has been a scissor I have used on a couple videos but didn't really talk about it much because um, I'm in love with the scissor but we didn't have it available and I hate talking about things that you know you can't uh, they're not attainable. So now we have it available on freesaloneducation.com. This is the most lightweight scissor I have ever used. So I start from that, that mid crown area and I section down. I decide how much of that temple area I really want to cut short. Um, today I kind of went with a 
I cut it in half, split the section in half. I just wanted a nice little shaved underneath portion, but I wanted a big disconnection that could kind of flop over the top of her head to create the look. So I'll go through, blow it dry, now we're switching to our YS Park 339 comb. I am doing the scissor over comb with the pen slim. Um, like I said, this is a skinny blade, but it's a super powerful scissor, so you can definitely do scissor over comb with it. It's a good all around tool to use. And I just go through using the wider teeth of the 339 comb and uh, shaving off that side going a little bit shorter. You could also use a clipper on this portion of the haircut. So, you know, if you like, if you're more comfortable with a clipper, a lot of people have been asking me for more scissor over comb work. So I wanted to do that for you guys today, but you could absolutely use a clipper if you wanted to. Now we're gonna work on our disconnection. So a lot of people are gonna say, well, how'd you find your guideline with that? That is based on my personal preference. So as I elevate the hair and I disconnect this portion, I wanna decide in my head, well, how much hair do I want to disconnect? And that's where I start to cut. So I went about an inch and a half past where you would normally take your guide that would start to blend the haircut. And that's when I started cutting. So now I'm gonna take a horizontal or section straight across the top of the head and then uh, work that section. So this is basically the crown area and I'm gonna work vertical sections off of that. So we took our line, so I, now I have that crown section to work with. I keep combing it out vertically, holding it in my hand, nice high elevation, which will give me more of a blend, not so much of a weight line. And I work my way across the crown going to the previous section. So not, not much over direction, just bringing it over to the previous. Now I'm gonna continue through the top. I wanna to create my layers on the top first, then work on the underneath portion after that and the more disconnected asymmetrical side of things. So I'm gonna go through, cut a nice even across the top. Everything's being over directed over the apex, the top of the head. Um, so I'm not going all the way back to the crown. I'm going more to the high point of the head with my over direction because if I went back all the way to the crown, the front would just be way too long. So depending on the look you're going for, again, you could over direct it more, you could over direct it less. Um, so just customize it to your guest and how you want the look to go. Now we're gonna jump into our carving comb. This is a really cool tool, super cheap, $34.95 on freesaloneducation.com. The thing I love about this tool is it's so versatile. So I went through with scissors throughout the entire cut, cut a precision cut. Then on my disconnection, my asymmetrical side, what I wanted to do is just have more of a freedom kind of feel to it. So I go through with the 100% carve side, I cut my angle, and then I go through with the 50% carve side, uh, which is the opposite side of the carving comb, and it cuts 50% of the hair, and I just cut in some layers, and then that's, the, that's it. That's the finished part of the look. It's so cool how easy a razor is. It's not necessarily something that I do on every haircut for the entire haircut, but it's a tool that you can use throughout your haircuts to add different textures and movement to it. So we go through, we blow it dry, I really start to use the heat of the blow dryer to um, create the uh, the flow that I want the hair to go in. And then I go through with my Vibra Straight Iron and I iron out just this side, the disconnected side, because then I'm gonna go through and use um, our texture icing product, which what that's gonna do is give me that texture and movement, but I wanted some of those straight kind of disconnected pieces on the asymmetrical side, the, the heavier, longer side. So we're using our Carve. Um, texture cream which i have used in a lot of videos one of my favorite products going through just i already blue dry the hair in this pattern so it's not hard to get it to do what i want it to do and i go through add the carve it really shows the pieciness of those layers that we cut with the carving comb that we cut with the scissor on the top that we scissor over combed on the side and now i'll finish it off with a nice firm hairspray and that gives us our finished look um, so I hope you guys like this look. I really love this haircut. I think it's very versatile. You can use it on a lot of clients in the salon. Let me know in the comments below if you like it. Um, let me know how you change it up. Make sure you share your work on our social media site, fsesocial.com. And there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. Like always, if you like this haircut, then make sure you leave in the comments. Let me know what you thought. Also, if you want to pick up the new Mizutani scissor, use the code MattBeckBlog uh, on freesaloneducation.com. You'll get 20% off. 20% off of this scissor. You won't get that anywhere else. 
Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely subscribe below and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.